Good afternoon, Hoosiers. It is about 4.30 and I am in a very special place. I am in North Carolina, heading up to the AT, not for any extensive Appalachian Trail hike. Technically, probably won't even be on the AT now that I think about it, but we're gonna head to Over Mountain Shelter. Uh, for those that don't know, Over Mountain Shelter is a giant two-story red barn that has been used as an AT shelter for about 40 years at this point. And as of 2019, they've been announcing that it's closed for campers and overnighters and that it's going to get torn down or rebuilt or something. So we're going to try and hit it and just take a look at it, look at the beautiful views and just film it before it goes away. Uh, we actually drove up most of the way. We've parked down there at the little path. Uh, we're basically going to hike up a road for part of it. And here's the gate. So we're going to hike up this way, go around the gate, and head up to the shelter. We're about four tenths of a mile up. Uh, it's just, it's, it's road. It's, it's gravel road. So it's just that, working our way up. On the right, I can kind of see what looks like the top of the tree line. Uh, over mountain shelter will when we get to the top of this road, it'd be on the left. And I believe this road is supposed to be seven tenths of a mile. <sighs> it reminds me of a shallower newfound gap to Charlie's Bunyan. Charlie's Bunyan definitely involved a lot more steps and vertical climbing, but this is consistent ramped uphill. And here we are, about, oh, I see it. We're about half a mile in, and there it is. This is the first opening, it's, it's just right there, I'm sorry. That's, it's beautiful to me. It's so nice. Look at it. Oh, your God. Look at the view. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm even behind some trees. There's some people at the shelter. Uh, the actual Appalachian Trail is up that way a bit. So I've moved myself in front of the shelter now. Uh, you can see more signs. There's yellow tape. There's all kinds of stuff. You, you can't go into camp within 40 feet, etc. Like I said, it's He's getting repaired and or tore down. 100% not sure yet, but like, the, look at the sleeping area. You can see the little bunk spaces. So when you wake up in the morning, you got to picture the sun rising over this. I mean, look, look at that sky. It just picture the sun over there. This. Oh, that's such a good view. This is why I wanted to hike the AT. This is why I'm, I'm going to be back on the AT. Not probably this year, maybe not next year, but I'll be there. Look at it. Came onto it kind of unexpectedly there, but uh, it's only about 0.55 miles up the road from the parking area, and we thought it was going to be longer. Uh, I thought it was 0.7 miles up the gravel road part, and then like another little bit over to the shelter, but no, you pop out of the woods and you're there. Like it's it's right there. So we stayed for a few minutes, about 10, 15, and we moseyed on. Uh, here are additional blue blazes you can see on either side of this tree and down there those are usually paths uh, i can see the water so i'm assuming that's the water source down there and uh, like the overmonter shelter is not on the at itself as i mentioned so this other path right here is most likely the way uh, back up to the appalachian trail 
So a purist, because it is way off the trail and there's a good hike, will actually hike past the shelter, then come down right here in a southerly direction so that in the morning they can just go right back up and continue north so that they don't miss any white blazes. We are now heading back down to the car and it is not, I mean, it's downhill. It's just downhill. It's easy downhill. It's not too steep. Like it wasn't too steep on the way up. So that was worth it. If you have just a night and you want to spend a nice overnight near the AT, do that. Bring your tent up, camp by the shelter, enjoy that view. But yeah, simple hike, beautiful view. And we're just hiking back down this road. Also, if you didn't see it or I didn't show it well enough, there is a picnic table up there. So definitely bring the kids, hang out for the day, have a good time. And here we are coming to the end. Yeah, about a mile and change, round trip, up and back down. But totally worth it. That view was amazing.